it is statistically known that uh, people who are unionized uh, make a better living, have better benefits, and they're happier at work. And also that happens to bef benefit their company. It becomes a better company in general. Having a contract in no way interferes with our relationship with our supervisors and our managers. I really think having a union and having a contract is a lot easier for both the employee and the management of the company um, because I've dealt with management without having a union in the last couple of years and it's not been the same. I make about eight cents more an hour than I did eight years ago and, and I'd, I'd make a heck of a lot more if we would have had a union contract in place. I think having a contract makes it all in black and white. Everything is said and this is how it is. Things do get bent when weather changes or things go wrong, but it can't just be changed at the whim of the company. It can be, this is how it is, this is how it's going to be. And that's most important to me. If, if there's something that I have a problem with, I can go to the union and say, hey, here's the issue, and uh, could you mediate for me? Could you help me discuss this with management and you know, find a, a solution? What's in our contract? You know, they'll be pointed out and those things are easily resolved. Negotiating things like health insurance, um, retirement, um, duty rigs. By having the pilots being the only people on the property with a contract, they're the only people truly that the company can or has to uh, negotiate with and or deal with because they're the only people that have things spelled out. Everybody else has everything vague or like I said before, an invisible ink. They say it's going to be strictly seniority that you're going to get nothing. You know, they're, make, they're trying to scare the junior flight attendants, and that's not true. I mean, when we do negotiate something, it's going to be what we all want, and everybody's going to have a voice in negotiating how we do things. They're not going to be put in the bottom. Whenever we need to sit down with management and discuss any situation, we will have the legal right, and they will be legally obliged to sit down and discuss whatever situation or whatever issue we think needs to be addressed. The smaller issues, day-by-day -day issues that come up are already either taken care of by the language in the contract or they're taken care of by the union representative who deals directly with the manager and that's a person who's available many times a day when the flight attendant is on the road traveling. It just, it's very efficient.